All right, so hopefully you guys can uh, can hear me um, recording this through my phone, uh, using a software on my phone uh, to record <laughs> the screen, and so you can see my face too. Um, it's dark outside. I got my telescope out, talking kind of quiet, so you guys will turn your volume up. Um, trying out the uh, Barska uh, wireless uh, imager on the uh, Celestron PowerSeeker ADEQ and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully hope this is recording real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and close that down now I'm gonna close that out there close that out uh, try not to mind some of my stuff that I have open uh, so there you go you can see I'm connected to the Barska image or microscope imager and then that's the, the SSID name uh, basically the wireless access point name that's built into the imager uh, so basically what you do is you go on your phone uh, go to your settings if you're on an Android uh, not too familiar with um, iPhones and stuff because I don't use them uh, but you go to the wireless setting and in here will be a list of uh, networks that are around you, hopefully your Barska uh, micro imager is listed. Um, you want to make sure that the Barska imager is on when you're doing this, otherwise it won't show up. So make sure you turn the power button on. And I am connected to it, there's no internet on this. Uh, the Barska imager doesn't have any internet. So we're going to go ahead and swipe left to this. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the app here. And I have some strange icons, don't worry about them. Um, so we're going to go to the Wi-Fi microscope icon, which you'll need a uh, QR scanner to scan the code on your um, your uh, book, your manual that you get. Because I think each, uh, I think basically each, each software is unique to the uh, camera. Uh, I could be wrong. But that's the way it seems. So I'm going to open this up. And we can see there, uh, there's an image. Uh, it doesn't look like that uh, I am uh, on the object that I was looking at. So uh, it's dark screen now. Apologize. I'm going to try to uh, adjust this here. Let's see if I can get up higher. Okay, we're coming up on it now. Okay, I think we are on it. I think we're just a little bit out of focus here. So I'm going to try to focus out. There we go. Okay, I think we're a little bit too... too high up. There we go. So we're bringing it down to about right there. Now if I try to bring this into focus, hopefully, I'm going to focus this out a little bit. There we go. You can just kind of see the moon there. Um, and it is a full moon right now, and this is recording, um, this is recording in, um, 640 by, or 680 by 640, uh, resolution, which is very small, um, quality uh, video um, and of course where my face is uh, there's a picture button where you can take a picture of what you're looking at and again I'm using a, uh, a Celestron Power Seeker um, ADEQ to uh, to record this with or <laughs> to have the uh, Barska imager in um, I kind of have to come back to my telescope because the moon is going out of uh, view and I don't have tracking on it. So let's see if I can zoom in on any of these craters. And I still haven't figured out my equatorial mount correctly. Oh, there's a nice shot of the moon. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't think it's fully focused. There could be an issue with the battery uh, not being fully charged or I'm just not fully focused. Um, and it probably would have helped uh, if I would have had a filter on this because the moon is 
very bright tonight. Uh, see if I can find one of the craters. Of the moon. Not too sure where we are on the moon here. I haven't studied it. Oh, there we go. I think we found Tycho. So that's the crater we're looking for, and it's very bright on the surface of the moon. Very bright. I'm trying to get focus. There we go. That's not too bad. See, that's a pretty nice focus right there. It's not too bad. It's a little, a little blurred. It's not too bad um, of the surface view. You can see some of the craters there with a little bit of wobble. You guys can see, like I said, you guys can see some of the, the craters off to the side there on the moon. Uh, now I'm not curious if a if a focal reducer um, would help make this bigger, but I doubt it because of the fact that it's uh, it's a uh, very small eyepiece. The uh, Barsk imager is. So there's a nice. I think this is close into Tycho as we can get uh, with the Barska imager. Oh, but I mean, it, it, the cool thing is, I mean, at least you could live stream this. I mean, you're not going to get, you know, a full resolution, which is kind of disappointing that you can't get a full res. Um, image, but it'd be kind of hard to do with a phone, I guess, anyways. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Um, but it is cool that you can, you know, you can, you basically see uh, some of the details of the moon with, with this actual uh, camera. Like I said, it's all plastic. It's made out of all plastic. Um, cheaply made. Uh, runs about a hundred bucks. If you find it online cheaper than that, uh, you might want to grab it. Uh, I paid about like just under ninety dollars for mine off of eBay, and uh, I expected it to be made out of like metal or aluminum or alloy or something like that. But kind of disappointed that it's made out of plastic for the price that they they wanted for it. It's really really a shame um, that they built it so cheap and they sell it for so much. Um, Let's see if I can scroll down, zoom the telescope down a little bit. And there you can kind of see Tycho there. i go across the moon here, if I can. There we go. Here you can see one of, some of the, one of the lava beds on the moon. See some of the craters. See if I can get this over a little bit here. There's a lot of vibration uh, from the equatorial mount. Uh, my mount is not really stable, so slightest vibration, and you'll get vibration movement uh, as you're as I'm slowly using the slow crank knobs um, on the telescope. So there's vibration. And I apologize for that. Um, I'm gonna try to do Venus for you guys. No guarantee, uh, but I'll do Venus and let you guys see. Uh, what Venus looks like might be just a bright ball for all I know um, but we'll give Venus a try and uh, we'll see what happens alright so you guys are looking at Venus which is now going off course this is very hard to do um, very hard to keep this in, in the view uh, with such a low power anyways so you guys can see Venus there um, as basically Venus in a crescent, almost, almost not crescent anymore, but it's still kind of crescent. Um, so there you guys can just barely see Venus. It's very, very uh, purplish blue, <laughs> which I think is an abnormal abnormality. Abnormality, maybe the word I'm looking for. Um, with Venus in this uh, type of thing. I think I lost it. So, yep, I lost it. So anyways, that, that basically was uh, what Venus looks like. I'm not sure if Venus was actually, um, but you guys can actually see the moon behind me there. 
in the background. Anyways, uh, gives you guys a general ideal of what you can expect uh, with this uh, wireless imager. It's pretty cool that you can, you know, have your phone um, basically be able to uh, zoom in on some of the the uh, planets and stuff. Uh, apologize for any noise that you guys heard. You know, suburban area neighbors and stuff. So, not if, or if it wasn't if it wasn't for the neighbors, it'd be wildlife that would be howling in the background and stuff like that. Anyways, hopefully, hopefully this gives you guys a general general ideal uh, what you're gonna expect for this uh, wireless imager from Barska. Um, I'll do a follow up view, maybe a follow up video later. Uh, deciding maybe what my final thoughts, maybe when I get to use it on some of the other planets. Um, one thing I want to mention to you is, is I was not using this on a go-to mount. Uh, so I was manually tracking it on my, um, on my equatorial mount, which <laughs> I thought I had it figured out, but I still don't have it figured out. Which is why I use the old azimuth, the old azimuth mount, because... I'm an idiot, <laughs> and I haven't figured it out yet. Probably need to have my astronomy uh, vice president stop by and give me a a good uh, lecture. Um, he uh, he showed me how to do all this, and it went in one ear, one ear, and out the other one, and thought I knew what he was talking about, but I had no clue what he was talking about. And that moon is just just hijacking my video. I mean, you can see the moon right there. There's the moon, like, right there in the video. I don't know how it turned out, but that is the moon right there where my finger is. <laughs> the moon wants to be in the spotlight of the video. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know how it turned out in the video, but there's the moon right there. Try to pinch him. Got the moon. Got the moon in my hand here. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, here's the, I don't know if well, y'all can see, probably can't see it at all, but right back, there's the telescope right there. You can see the tripod legs. Uh, I don't think I can get a close up. Nah, can't get a close up, but uh, anyways, let me see if I can get Venus. I probably can't get Venus. Uh, there's a house light over there, but uh, Venus is someplace up there. This is part of the house, but. Venus is not, I guess, bright enough for this uh, view here to see. Actually, it's getting covered up by clouds. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed uh, the video and gets you, like I said, an ideal, a general ideal. If you think it's worth it, pick one up. You know, if you're in astronomy, you might as well get one anyways, right? I mean, add it to the collection, right? <laughs> anyways, it's just a black screen down there because the, there's nothing, there's nothing in the view of the uh, the camera. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Become a subscriber if you haven't become a subscriber um, of this YouTube channel. Um, plan to do some astronomy stuff. I might even start a dedicated channel up. Hopefully, you guys can actually hear what I am saying because I'm not sure how how all the audio is. It's coming from the actual phone audio so hopefully there is audio when I go to upload this and it's not no audio <laughs> anyways thanks for watching